Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Toronto International Airport. We are heading off to Edmonton today on Air Canada flight. One second. 163, and it's gonna be business class. And I, apparently, it's a flatbed, a domestic flight. So I'm really, really excited. But that being said, let's get going. All business class passenger receives complimentary access to Air Canada Maple Leaf Lounge and this is why I spent approximately 30 minutes for breakfast before heading to the gate. Oh, by the way, our gate is D24 and I think we have arrived. Oh yes. One thing I noticed on um, business class here, you're never going to be afraid of running out of overhead storage. Um, yeah, overhead bins. There's always enough room for everyone. So one thing that's really nice about Air Canada's uh, Boeing 787-9 uh, is there's flat bed, which is nice. And of course, the standard accessories. You get a nice headset, noise cancellation, the better be. The pillow, blanket, and uh, so you can get some nice rest after the breakfast. And I think it's gonna be pretty legit. One of the first things that you get on board is this menu right here. No, it's not the food, it's actually the wine. And I think it's a bit too early for me to uh, indulge in some alcoholic drinks. So I'll pass that out for now, but maybe just a little bit later. But let's check out what they got. There's both a standard USB output to charge your devices and an outlet to power your computer, both located inside the accessory bin. The in-flight entertainment comes with an extensive collection of movies, TV shows, music, and as well as popular classic games. You can also use a controller to play the games, but I find it very hard to use it since it's not really responsive. I think I feel that pushback. We are ready to rock and roll everyone. Sit back, enjoy the flight.
next? Once you get off the ground, you need to freshen up with a hot towel. And I cannot agree more. Oh, look like we will be having a record soon. The table is all set up. So I'm looking forward to, uh, to seeing what they are offering on kosher meals, business class. At least that's why I ordered. I have a pretty good feeling it's going to be good. And they wrapped it up in the um, plastics to make sure the food stays kosher. Um, so uh, that's why it's cold. <laughs> Uh, what I chosen is orange juice and water to go along with it. Um, my advice to you is, if you're not Jewish, for breakfast, order normal meal because I think their food is actually better than mine. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. Surprisingly, it is Fresh. Give them a credit for that. I need to remove my 
So, I want to show you the cleanliness. Hello. And so, overall, I like give this bathroom eight out of ten. I think that's pretty generous. And like a lot, well, maybe eight and a half because you get a nice view of uh, uh, what's it called of the engine and the sky while you're relieving yourself. The only reason I didn't give 10 out of 10 is because of this. You can see it's still a little bit off. Not exactly cool, but it's not an area that you will be touching anyway, so I'm a little bit forgiving. Uh, but yeah. And also another thing that's really nice. <laughs> Almost, almost. With that being said, let's head back out because we got a couple more hours of flying and let's take an uh, opportunity to take a further nap. Well, let's talk about the seating features here. First of all, if you need to read, uh, there's two lights here actually. One of them, a mini reading light. But if you need to work on your masterpiece and need the whole room to be lit, mom, it's right there. <laughs> this turned into a flat bed, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to rest on the board. Finally, I think I need to get some rest. So, what I've been said, let's go. <laughs> This model of seating also offers controls on level of mattress firmness and massages on both neck, upper and lower back. None of the Boeing Dreamliners has window shades, rather it has a dimmable windows that is controlled through the LCD in front of the windows or switch right underneath the window. The drawback, it does take a couple minutes to fully shade it. With that being said, let's get some sleep. So I just took a nap and uh, when I woke, we got some warm naps. How nice. So different snacks and I'm a chocolate kind of person. So then yours it is. Now the flight is actually pretty good. Um, I wish one thing though, they can offer free Wi-Fi for business class customers. Yeah, that will be a nice addition. After all, the tickets for business class are not cheap. So, there will be a bonus and um, on top of this, I don't know, let's say.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Edmonton. We have landed. So next, heading to the gate and uh, getting ready to deboard the plane. So it was a pleasant journey actually. Friendly flight attendants and uh, uh, clean aircraft overall. I probably have more to say in the voiceovers. Wi-Fi for business class client, they got to add that on. on like, like Turkish airline, they get we get free Wi-Fi on business class. Cleanliness, bathroom, that needs to uh, improve a little bit more. Um, and what else? Overall, I do enjoy it. The staff, I really enjoy. Um, but the kosher food, mm, that needs a little bit of work. With that being said, I hope you are also going to have a pleasant flight and able to write your own reviews. See you soon.